love Seattle Pride. Everyone is incredible. Look at all these amazing people. Give it up! They're all amazing. I'm so happy. I am super excited to see him because I am a genuine fan of his music. I mean, not only is he beautiful, but he's a really talented musician. He's my future husband. <laughs> What has been the transition like uh, going from modeling to music? Well, actually, I've never been a model. I don't consider myself a model at all. Um, I, I did a, a series of photo shoots when I was 19 years old, so it's it's been a long time. It hasn't helped me at all in music, certainly. It has had no effect on anything I've done other than now that when you search my name, those are the pictures that come up. You know, I, I'm certainly not ashamed of my pictures, but it's just not what I'm really promoting or what I'm, what I'm about right now. It's, it's really the the music which carries the message of inclusion and love and equality and that, that joyfulness that I talk about. A lot of us gay people, we know what that's like to have that friend. So this is for all those people out there. Do you remember California? I hear that you have a passion project in regards to youth. I do. I have a, absolutely a special place in my heart for the youth. Um, because when you're young, you don't have a choice of where you're growing up or the value system that your family has, which obviously influences your own value system at the time. Mm -hmm. So as a young person, I was very influenced by my parents and um, their beliefs. So that had a, a tremendous effect on the way I saw myself. And when I realized I was gay when I was 13 years old, as a... Uh, a boy growing up in a Catholic family, I, I felt like I was wrong in the eyes of God and that really hurt and that was, uh, that was a really horrible feeling and I remember wanting to die and it was just really awful and so it's really hard to compare experiences. I think we all have our own struggles in life and we all have to make the best of what we're given but if I am able to accomplish anything I hope that, it's, that I reach some kid out there who's maybe from a small town or, or anything like that who feels like he's not right because of this core part of who he is and he feels like it's wrong and yeah. I hope that if there's any way that I could reach that kid and show him that there's a, there's a great joy to just being who you are and accepting who you are and that's really what's beautiful and that's what makes us beautiful as humans. <laughs> During your performance, you mentioned that you had influences with uh, the boss, Bruce Springsteen, as well as Elton John. Yeah, I mean, they're both incredible songwriters, and I grew up on music before my time because that's what my parents raised me with, and so I was just brought up in, uh, you know, the you know golden age of rock and roll, and yeah. that's definitely seeped in, into my own music and has influenced me a lot. I was surprised when people labeled me as country, although now I can definitely see why, you know, people wanted to call me that. I think a lot of it was, you know, the media wanting to sensationalize things, but more than anything, like, it's just never been important to me what style of music people call me. I mean, I'm a songwriter. Good songs come in, in all different genres of music, so I just try to write good songs, and good songs are honest songs to me, and they draw from real life experiences or what we observe in real life, so that's where my music comes from. Let's talk about All American Boy. I had never cried at the end of a music video before as I did with this song. Well, that, that means a lot. I, you know, as a songwriter, you can't hope for anything else other than for your music to resonate with other people, so I'm glad it resonated with you. You know, All American Boy goes all the way back to being that 13-year-old kid I was. Uh, I was a Boy Scout, and I was going to Boy Scout summer camp, and actually I, I had a little crush on a camp counselor, and I didn't realize what that feeling was at the time. I knew I felt something different and unique that I had never felt for anybody before. And so it wasn't until the drive home, it was a five-hour drive from, from northern Wisconsin back to the south suburbs of Chicago, um, that I realized that, wow, you know, I 
I have feelings for this guy. You know, I, I, I love this guy in a way that a 13-year-old could, could love a man. Wow, I'm, I'm gay. And from that moment on, I was absolutely terrified. So All American Boy comes from that. It, and, uh, you know, that feeling that I felt many times over of falling for someone that I couldn't have, whether they're, you know, straight or just gay and un unavailable. I think that's something that we've all experienced. So All American Boy really isn't, it's certainly not exclusive to gay people. But specifically, uh, I just want to add, my, my dad used to pat me and my brother on the head when we were young kids and we'd be walking out of church, maybe we were eight or nine years old, and he, he would brag about us to the, the other parents in the neighborhood and say, you know, these are, these are my boys, my, my Billy and Steven, you know, they're just your all-American boys that, you know, they, they play baseball and they're in Boy Scouts and they get good grades. And so that idea of what it means to be all-American has always been something I've thought about. And so I wanted to kind of reclaim that and say that you could choose your identity and it doesn't, you don't have to listen to anybody. Um, whatever you want to be, you could be. This audience really is, is one of my favorites of all times. They came up in the front and they knew all the words to my songs. Seattle definitely uh, has a special place in my heart already. Thank you so much.